The unrest persists, and challenges keep coming for Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton. She remains unseen, and it seems her recovery is progressing at a sluggish pace. We eagerly await any positive updates on her battle with cancer, but there's been no information forthcoming. However, recent rumours about Kate are cause for concern. We can't ignore that the Welsh princes recently broke their silence due to the horrors unfolding in Sydney, still hoping for Kate Middleton's return. Whether we'll have to wait until April 23, their youngest son's birthday, remains uncertain, but many are already demanding some proof of her existence. The media is abuzz with this question, hinting at widespread speculation, both globally and on social media. Is Kate Middleton really alive? This question grows more pressing, especially after the latest news failed to clarify her whereabouts. There are rumors of a meeting between Carol Middleton and William in a pub. Some call it a friendly encounter, while others doubt the harmony. Perhaps Carol Middleton demanded something from her daughter's husband, Meanwhile, William and his eldest son were seen at a football match, appearing content, sparking much debate. However, the most significant news for me in recent hours was a message from Argentina via Radio Mitre. They reported that Kate Middleton's situation is indeed serious. Her three children, George, Charlotte and Luis, are receiving specialized help from psychologists to prepare for the worst. It may be precautionary, but the monarchy leaves nothing to chance, planning and preparing for all scenarios. Against this backdrop, the topic of the death of Charles III becomes increasingly relevant. What concerns me most is William's position. I understand that Kate Middleton's struggle with cancer during her ascent to the throne is unsettling. But in William's case, I don't think his concern is solely about his wife's health. He has always seemed prepared for power, and his stance appears unstable to me. Besides all this, internal turmoil rake nights within the palace. News International writes about the dilemma facing King Charles regarding Diana and Princess Kate. Lady Dee's death has been a subject of dispute and still raises many questions. Many still accuse the royal family of her death, a topic that remains relevant in 2024. From this news, many will find solace continuing to theorize on social media about Kate Middleton's demise. There's no need to defend this approach, but it seems to me this information will only fuel those theories. Why so? As we reported last week, the YouGov portal conducted a new survey after a long hiatus, assessing the ratings of members of the British royal family. It's quite logical that the Sussex Dukes found themselves in the worst position, although there are others in the family who perhaps deserve a worse reputation but have greater support. And it sounds surprising, but Kate Middleton has become the most popular figure in British society among members of the royal family for the first time in many years. This takes on special significance, considering that her popularity only increased during her battle with cancer. But what's the catch? Some hint, as with this Australian material and royal commentator Daniela Elser, that this surge in popularity and subsequent decline could bring Kate Middleton some trouble. It now seems like history is repeating itself, with claims that the fact that Kate Middleton far outstrips Charles in popularity and support during their mutual battle with the same illness has, in their view, disrupted the natural order of things. Should the king be the most popular? This question remains open, considering that the Welsh princes have been at the top of popularity for many years, and Camilla does not enjoy much support with only 50% of Britons supporting her. And this raises questions. This uncertainty in the hierarchy can only complicate matters for both Kate Middleton and Charles. It's said that Charles and Kate Middleton get along very well. That cancer has further strengthened their bond. They dined together at the palace, even wrote letters to each other as if they were family, but this can be confusing. And again, they claim that the same dynamics that were with Diana Princess of Wales, are resurfacing. Lady D magnetically attracted crowds, like a witch from a fairy tale, charming them, but ultimately, she became a target for destruction. They say the difference between Kate and Lady D is clear, that Charles does not harbour any animosity towards his fiancée, but toxic relations with Lady D did indeed muddy the waters. But what's intriguing 
is that Kate outstrips not only Charles, but also her husband, which to say the least is unusual. She also surpasses Princess Anne, outpaces her brother Charles, which is also noticeable. Although she has always been respected and enjoyed great popularity, especially after the announcement of her cancer, this evokes mixed feelings. The news itself is not of great importance, but many may consider it a harbinger of the same troubles as with Lady Diana. Some simply can't stand it when a woman is more successful or popular than they are, which triggers some complexes and antipathies. This is a reality that cannot be ignored. Perhaps Kate doesn't want to cause problems, but the fact remains. She has become more beloved than members of her own family, and this causes some irritation. The public, as usual, grumbles and criticizes, but important things, such as Ken Nilton's health or condition, remain in the shadows. Although Kensington Palace does not provide official updates, we should remember that behind these walls, a lot of interesting and important things are happening that should be accessible to the wider public.